Hey guys, Zach with TrendSpider here, and today I'm going to do a short video on multi-time frame analysis with our upper indicators. So to show you this, we're going to go ahead and open up our indicators tab here and check out which indicator we want to add. I'm just going to show you guys um, some EMAs and the uses you can get out of them with the multi-time frame analysis. So we have the 9, so I'm going to do a 9 EMA and a 20 EMA, and this is pretty common with a lot of day traders, right? We like to look for um, some moving averages crossing to confirm a move up or down. <clears throat> so here we have the basic chart set up with our uh, indicators on. I've turned my trends off. We're just focusing on the indicators for this video. And you can see here we've got the uh, five minute chart with our five minute EMA9 and EMA20. Now what we can do here with TrendSpider that you can't normally do with most other platforms is we can go ahead and add in multi time frame analysis on top of these on top of this chart so now we're not only looking at just the 5 EMA 9 and EMA 20 but we're also looking at the 30 minutes chart EMA 9 and EMA 20 so as you can see here you know why we would use this feature is because long-term trends affect short-term price so maybe the 30 minute EMA 9 may act as support or resistance rather than the 5 minute EMA 9 so we can go ahead and set up an alert on one of these moving averages by simply right clicking either the 30 minute or the five, five minute EMA 9. And also keep in mind that the 30 minute EMA 9s are always gonna be the dashed lines here. The solid lines are gonna be the five minute EMA 9s or the primary time frame you're looking at since we're comparing this to the 30 minute chart. And we can go ahead and set up alert, right click, say create an alert to this line Watch for either a breakthrough touch or bounce off of this EMA uh, 20. Uh, we can set up to, up to a five minute confirmation candle on that. Set a price sensitivity to that. So if you want to look um, as I'm moving this forwards and backwards, that area of sensitivity is expanding on my chart. And we can leave ourselves a little note here saying something like possible uh, move, right? We can watch this. If we're day trading this, watch it for like the next 12 hours or for the day, but if this was a, like a longer term chart, maybe like the daily or the hourly chart, we could watch this for up to 30 days and have this alert trigger up to five times. And we create that alert and that alert's just gonna live in our system right here. So that's for it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the Transpire team and have a good day.